Hey guys, today I'm here to film my second fitness plan with me in the month of January and I'm sticking with the neutrals theme because I'm doing a crazy throwback. This kit is well over a year old. This was Scribble Prints Co. Neutrality, I believe. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I probably won't be using any of this stuff. Um, but I have my heart checklist. Did I? I have to have ombre in here somewhere. Yep. Okay. There we go. There's the full boxes and the ombre. They got uh, left behind in my little binder thingy. I have bottom washi and be still my beating heart. My chevron washi, which I'm like still hardcore obsessed with. I'm. I just. I love this stuff. And. Uh, washi page, which I'll probably just use like one page, one piece at the bottom here, maybe. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get into it. I am going to have to pull Planner Kate, um, maybe like November stuff instead of using black since this is like olive and tan. Let's see. Let's see. We have, we're going to, we're going to need one of these. Pull this out here. Mm. It's a little warm. A little warmer. Maybe I'll just do the black and white because I'm lazy and I don't want it to look weird. <laughs> How about that? How does that work? I'm going to do the pull my black and white planner key. So, actually, I'm not going to need a habit sticker. I don't know what I was thinking, but I will need a blank one for uploads. And miles. And what else have I been doing? Oh, I was going to, I had like just a single one. for my daily moves, which I didn't do at all last week, which we'll get into. So maybe I will put this down because, uh, whatever. Um, so let's, whoop, <laughs> just threw that across my desk. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll like cut it, I don't know. I don't know guys, I don't know. Do I have single ones that are like gray? I know I have single ones from her. This is like, watch me just be all over the place today. I have so much multicolor planner Kate that I always forget I have and then I never use it. And then I'm like, why don't I use this? I really like her multicolor combinations. I know, I, did I get rid of them? I know I had single ones. I know I'm not crazy. Maybe I'll just, I'll grab Scribble Prince Co. I'll use like that taupe color. I am all over today. Okay, I'm gonna do, we'll do this one. And um, I'll bring it down on this one. I didn't on my main one, but I will here. We'll do this taupe. And then where did my matte washi go? This is like such a throwback. I think I only have like one really old school of like the three page kits. I think I have the beach one left. And I do have that planned to use in my fitness planner at some point. Let me grab a piece of washi to stick between here. did not position that washi well. That was a terrible job. That was just absolutely awful. Okay, so that will be the extent of my washi usage. Let's put the bottom washi down while I'm at it. I'm so used to the newer kits. This is like 
This was her first like reformat where she just had everything a la carte before she started doing like full kits together. Um, I'll do the dark one on the top and the light one down here because y'all know I love me some chevron washi. I'm like hardcore obsessed with this stuff. I did decide if you watched my big kit purge, I had like three other kits that were this format from when it was a la carte. And I did decide I was just going to pass those on because they were repurchases of ones I'd had on the three page thing when she used to just do the three pages and I'm like, I'm never gonna redo these. One of them was the birthday kit and I was like, I'm never gonna use this. Like, I don't know. It was, it was my fault. I shouldn't have bought them. I got them for like, when she did the super crazy markdown, I think I got them for like $20 a piece or something, maybe tw like something like that. So I don't know, but I still feel bad about it, but hopefully I can pass them on to someone who will use them. But a lot of, because I'm so used to doing like the newer formats now in my kit, or my kit, my main planner. So a lot of times I'll use like older format stuff in my fitness planner because it doesn't impact my planning style as much. Um, I do need to cover these up. Actually, I'm going to pull these from the kit I used in my main planner this week. I didn't realize I used like two of the mini flags that were solid colors and totally missed that there were ones like sitting right there. This, this size flag is a different like shape than this one's like on all of them. Like it covers well on that one and then like doesn't cover well on that. I don't know. I don't know if I'm crazy or if I just really suck at putting them on. I don't know. So then we're gonna do this, which I haven't done in forever, so this will probably be difficult and messy and we're gonna mess up, it's gonna be okay. Um, but yeah, my first week of the Turn It Up Challenge food-wise went really well. I ended up not really working out this week by not really, I mean, I didn't work out this week. I might go work out today, um, which is fine with me. Working out has been like a lifelong habit of mine, so and um, that's always been the easier component for me to do and it's been better like I coming back from vacation I had a lot of trouble sleeping because I got used to staying up later and also I was in a different time zone which I know it's only an hour but I still get like screwed up even just being off an hour okay I'm gonna have to like I'll just line it up over here and so I was like, normally I go to bed between 8.30 and 9.30 on weeknights, and I was going to bed at like, more like between 10 and midnight, depending on the day, which was way too late for me to get up and do my workouts. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do these. Honestly, I might just leave, like, do no headers or something. Would that be crazy to do no headers? I did order Planner Kate neutral, like, black and white headers so that I would have them for these situations. I ordered them today. I was like, why didn't I have these before? I don't know. But, I don't know, I might just leave this open. My fitness planner, I'm always a little more, like, loosey-goosey about it. And then, I'm going to have to pull a single heart checklist for these, but I'll figure that out. So, what I was saying, um... My food went really well. I ate on plan. I stuck to like my meal plan schedule. Um, except for last night, we did end up going out on a date night and I had some pasta, but like, I don't care. I'm like not a deprivation kind of person. It's fine to like have it once a week, but I, I cooked dinner every other night this week. 
Um, I ate my planned lunches. I ate really like tone it up plan from M1 to M4 and then M5 I like made healthier choices out of like my plated meals and stuff when I made those. Um, like I picked them ahead of time to be healthier choices but I enjoyed them. Um, it was good. Um, basically that's what I'm saying. It turned, it worked out really well. So I'm hopeful <clears throat> that I can continue that trend this week. And I do want to, my goal is to like be better about sleeping again this week to get back to my normal sleep cycle, which I think I will. I fell asleep super early last night and woke up early this morning so I won't be screwed over tonight when I have to go to bed. I will be able to fall asleep at my normal time because I've been up since like 6. Um, what else? Uh, I'll do this one here. Um, what else? Yeah, I did a lot of meal prep and I actually ate my meals. There was one salad that I made like three of and I only ended up eating one. I threw away the other two because I had to like gag down the first one and part of it was just like a mental thing about not wanting to eat it but my kale got pushed to the back of the fridge and kind of like froze and then thawed and was like just a weird texture because it was like kind of wilted and it was yucky so I just gave up on that and decided that my time would be better spent eating food that didn't make me gag. But I did eat it the day I took it for work and I didn't go get the pizza across the street like I wanted to. I made myself eat it because I knew there was like nothing in it that was going to make me sick and it wasn't inedible in the sense of like it was spoiled or like had, you know, a ton of salt or something in it where like it hurt to eat. It was more a mental thing than anything, but I made myself eat it anyways. It took me like an hour to get it down, but I made myself eat it instead of going to get the pizza across the street, which is exactly what I wanted to do, but I didn't. Okay, so... Let's see, I also wanna like, try to check in every day this week, which I did not do this week, um, yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put these down. I'll just do the meal ones. For my workouts, there's only like one workout a day other than the daily moves. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. I was going to work out this week, but I just... With sleep, like, I ended up having to prioritize sleep, which was fine, you know? It wasn't like I was prioritizing eating chocolate chip cookies. I needed my sleep. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my planner gems icons. And my planner esque okay. yoga stickers. Okay. So I'm gonna start from this end and move back. I'll do this like tan color. So yeah. I, I was just really proud of myself for being able to stick with my planned meals and I came home and cooked every night this week. Um, except for last night Joe and I had a date night but 
you know, it's easy. I'm like sticking to, what, what did I do? What did I do? Gosh, Sam. Ooh, that just ripped the sticker. I can leave the shoe where it is, I guess, because it was like a hit abs thing. So I can use, I guess, a weight or a shoe for that. And then Sunday was run, Sunday run day, and then that was a walk. I put my Saturday on Sunday. I had everything moved all around. Thursday was 45 minutes of cardio. This was body bands already. So I have my, my meal plan for this week. I am going to go grocery shopping today. Um, but I'm excited. Just, I feel like I can do it, you know? Which is a nice feeling. Alright, I guess there's no, like, yoga or stretching on the routine this week. So, that is the sketch. Oh, I need to put, find a, a thing for this. Where's my multicolor? do the taupe. It's close enough, don't you think? Alright, so here's the finished spread. Um, I'm really pumped to get into this week. Let me know how you guys are doing with your um, like fitness stuff down below. If you made a New Year's resolution, how's your first week going? Um, but yeah, I'm very excited. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I know it was short and I didn't have a ton to talk about. Um, hope, I don't, not, not hopefully I'm like struggling more this week, but like, I don't know, maybe I'll like write down a few notes throughout the week to actually like remember what I want to talk about. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, click subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and Snapchat because I've been Snapchatting like almost all of my meals, or at least I'm trying to, and I've been really active on Snapchat. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!